Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how to play a non-Steam game such as Minecraft uh, with a Xbox controller that's wireless, or you can even with a USB one um, of PlayStation. I think Steam has their own controller or anything. But for the Xbox One controller, you just go like this, here, here. You go there, add a Bluetooth device. It's actually not this one unless you have an older controller which needs the wireless adapter, but it's this one. Then you have your controller looking, that one's mine. Connecting. Usually it doesn't take so long to connect, but evidently some recording it wants to take a little bit. Come on. Occasionally it wants to act stupid. I'll admit that. There we go. Okay, so then you add a non Steam game. Great, this is going to take a second. I believe this is the Minecraft we want to add, is this one. Add selected program. Big picture mode. Library. Oops. This one. Manage shortcuts. Controller options. Loud. Controller runs on. Okay. Controller configurations. Support for the Xbox One is disabled. Okay. So now you're like, oh no. That's weird. If it's disabled, how do we fix it? Oh, that's pretty simple. Just go here, control the settings, and you turn on all these. And then if you have a generic one, you would turn that on. Mine's an Xbox One controller though. So oh, now that those are on, see that they're on, just click those, and you go here. Okay, now go back to control configurations. In there. See? Control configurations by Jacob is death. You just choose what you want each button to do. Map it. Then once the maps, you're kind of good to go. Start up the game. You do have to keep Steam open in the backgrounds, but other than that. And it's, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, so this is going to take a second. Maybe we'll just cut it to when it's actually done loading. Now that we have loaded in, we'll just go ahead and create a new world. Load it in. Let's make sure everything's working correctly. This is just to show you that it works. I do need a little sensitivity because that's pretty intense right there. We just lower the mouse sensitivity to do that. And then what I just like is it's actually left trigger with my configurations to um it's left trigger to break things and for the actual and place it it's the right trigger which is the complete reverse of the Xbox edition. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, have a good, fantastic, wonderful day or evening. No matter when you're watching, just have a good one, you know? And peace out.